Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Mob Love Podcast live from the Casting Couch in Balamori. Joining me as always is the wonderful Mr. Paddy McDonald. What's happening? Fresh out of McGabry. How you doing bro? All good, all good. All you, good. You're dressed like such a wee hood today. Such a wee hood? Such a wee hood. You think so? You do, you look like you're up to no good. Flip flaps I didn't see. I didn't see the flip flaps. That just adds to it, yeah, You're missing a wee staffy, and then your fit's complete. You're like, my wee staffy. I am your wee staffy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not missing it at all, you're oh, just sitting yeah. by the same. <laughs> yeah, staffy has got mic'd up, man. <laughs> I'm too tired to even argue back, I am. I, am. I think last night I have a photo of you lying sleeping at the back of the gig, on the sofas. Like I, He's you, literally you wo- stood up to go up and perform, and you were wobbling, and you were like, Rrr. and I was like, I don't know if he's going to make it to the stage. <laughs> were you drunk or just tired? He was just tired. tired. I wasn't drinking at all yesterday. Just very, just one of those days. I was up early doing shows, and then that late one doesn't finish till like half twelve. Mm. So it's a long enough day. I was in Asda, a hard rock and roll. We are. I was in Asda at like. Quarter past one this morning, buying stuff to make chicken curry for his podcast. Today. That's everyone's like, do, do a podcast number where you like been fucking MD and cook it on. We're like, we'll make a curry. There's a curry made and tea and scones. Yeah. And I'm really <laughs> looking forward to it. Yeah. See, getting me up to do that gig was like, you know, the scene in Pulp Fiction where they're like, wake up the gimp. Yeah. <laughs> and well, you're just going to get me in. I was like, you, genu- you genuinely, you were like holding your head and I was like, he's not going on. Yeah. No, you're probably more like Uma Furman getting in <laughs> adrenaline <laughs> shot in your chest. King Bill. So, I'll see for someone who had just woken up. I did all right. You did I, all right? I did fine having just woken up. Because I, I, at one point I did fall asleep and I woke up. Because you, I remember what woke me up. You went to say Banana Rama, and you called the Banana Ram or Bano Rama. Yeah. <laughs> and I fucking died laughing at that <laughs> for no reason. You're like, you look like Banana Ram. And I was like, what the fucking. The, the wee man from Dublin tried to be a cunt and started talking Irish, and then I talked Irish back to him, and then he shit himself, and uh, we only have a couple of fuckle, and I went, I know. <laughs> 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 In your shit when I spoke back to yeah. him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but people want to know how are we getting on in the fringe um, I'm flat I'm fucking flat I, cool. I'm loving it too I mean it's hard work don't get me wrong and it's hard being away from the house and your own comforts and stuff like that but I mean it's just work every day it's, it's just work every day yeah. and I ain't getting every morning and I'd be up and I'd be on the computer and then I'm going out to make sure the flyers are doing what they're doing and then so yeah. I'm meeting people and I've met some class people like yeah. I'm meeting people from all different walks who do work and I'm just sort of lining up everything for next year yeah. so that I have the right people working for me. Yeah. I feel bad complaining about working every day when I know there's people who listen to this work like 12 hour shifts in hospitals and I'm like, I have to get up and talk for But if we hour. had a took a video of you last night you standing up, <laughs> you've done a fucking 12 hour shift. Well, like, whether you like it or not, I know yeah. you're only on stage but part of that is one, you're here which is you're ready and work yeah. and then... You know, you're not in your own home comforts. Yeah. You're not home. So you're in a strange place sleeping. Like, I have problems when I go away, like hotel rooms and stuff. I do wake up early because I'm not in my own bed. Yeah, yeah. You're flying for a lot of the day. You're yeah. walking. And this is the worst place in the world to walk for anyone. Oh it's my. all hills and cobbles. It's like a Takeshi's Castle, of course. You yeah. fucking get anywhere. It's horrendous. And it's not even like... It. But it's fun. I was doing gigs in the stand, and they were like, oh, it only takes you 17 minutes to walk from here to your venue. Bollocks. And I'm like, all of it's uphill, and there's also 10,000 fucking people en route walking at you and with you. I said, so you can't get through anywhere? Yeah. Like, there was one night I was doing my show, and I got there 26 minutes past left the car in the middle of the road like this isn't even a joke I fucking get out of the car put the hazards on and just left it there went and done the hour and went back and when I went back all these people were around the car all the fucking people to do with the friends and they were like what the fuck is the crack here and I went it's okay your man's dead on and they went who and I went a fella I had to get first aid to and they went what do you mean and I said there was a fella collapsed to me I get out and give him first aid and then we got him in and they went right 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 and then I get in the car and fucking drove away <laughs> Because where you had parked was like a delivery point for the Gilded. Yeah. Where everyone needs to get in and out of. And everyone on the festival is stressed. 
Yeah. Everything is running late. Everything's on a strict time table and this cunt's just parked up in front of it. But I was like, Paul, I was going, what's going to happen here if I'm not at my show? Like, it was meant to start at 20 past. I get out of my car 26 minutes past, run down, was out of breath. And then they were like, right, how long do you need? Give me a couple of minutes. And they gave me a couple of minutes and then I went on. So it's, it's just hard work. And imagine it's like military precision because it's like you think one that, show and then another you think show. That, show. But it hasn't. I'm not. Last night was the first time like the two girls came in and just started pulling the fucking room apart when I was there, like in the, the, the back room. And I was sitting McCarran and I was like, that's the first time that's happened. They will do that though if you're running. They're over. just like. Out of Which fuck. I understand. They need to do that because there's so much on. Yeah. Because who is it? Someone was on before someone we know and I can't remember who it was, but he's like, the show was running over by half an hour every night. Before him, mm. that just fucks him. I can't remember who it was, but he's just stuck then because he can't test his mic, he can't do his fucking sound because mm-hmm. that cunt's doing 30 minutes more mm. before him. So it's 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 annoying when someone goes over, so you try not to do it. Do you know what I, mean? I would just see he it's not in his nature, but I I wouldn't let somebody away with that. Neither would I, but I agree it wouldn't be in his nature to no, it's not in his nature to do that. Not a bad thing, he's just a lovely weave, just a nice fella. No, I yep. just mean he, it, he wouldn't be the type to go in, but I would like you see me with the show, the yeah. Evelyn or our show, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like telling he, them where he's the like a steward to. at the wolf tones when we're fucking seating that I'm show. Like, fill the front, fill the front, nobody's allowed to sit anywhere. I fill yeah. and it works, but. And they call mm. come in, they all do with the soul, and then if I go on the MC, they go, well, fuck, he's already told us where to sit, we'll have to fucking behave here. Have you met anyone famous? Because there's loads of them all going about. Um, Alex Salmon, met him. The SMP guy? Mm-hmm. Where the fuck did you... didn't tell me that. Yeah, he was at my show. You're getting the weirdest people at your show. He was at... Alex he, Salmon. We to hear us for a partnership, Alex Salmon and John McCoy. And John McCoy used to be the spe- speaker in the House of Commons. Oh, what, your mom? John Burke. Yeah, him. John Barker uh, and, uh, and his wife did the fucking magazine. Yes, with order. Him. Yes, order. Yes. Yeah, him and Alex Salmond and two other ex MPs were at the show, and then <laughs> the, rib. the Northern Ireland manager Michael O'Neill was there, and a couple of Northern Ireland players. Um, Not bad. No, so they, they, that's like so. Sort of, speak to them after. There's a Sky, a girl Sky Sports presenter. Yes. She came in. She done a review of the show. Um... Who else was in? There was a couple of other ones in. I've met Skinner and Badil, which was I know. fucking cool. I love Frank Skinner. Love Frank Skinner. Class. Mental. Just I, walking through the I assembly. I don't like Badil. I, I used to love their show, but I don't like him. I've I heard, don't know him as a person. I've, no, I don't know yeah. him either, but going by the stories and the stuff that he comes off with. Like, have you seen this whole thing that he's slabbering about uh, Killian Murphy? Murphy playing sloppy top. He says remember? there shouldn't be somebody that's not a Jew playing There's a Jew. Th- there comes a point where that stuff... Where I'm like, then what element is acting? Do you know what uh, I mean? Hundred. Uh, that's what I mean. What element? are you Hundred percent. Oh, you couldn't. Even the not disabled people playing a disabled person. If it person? was a fucking Nazi playing it, I would understand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, Rudolf Hess to play Oppenheimer. Yeah. Do yeah. You know, issues. Yes. Hundred percent. Or yeah. somebody who is anti-Semitic. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Playing it, I totally get it. Can't you? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd watch that. That'd be great. But like, like even when people say, "Oh, non-disabled people shouldn't play disabled people," I partly agree. And then I watch fucking, is it my left foot? Fucking unbelievable! <laughs> Can't nail it. He's fucking out. He's sitting there like a fucking like, hash. If it all, he's it. If, it, if it hadn't worked out for Daniel Day Lewis, like Aye. he was, he was getting a wee bungalow in a fucking car and fucking East Belfast, no problem. Like, do you know what I mean? I'm always like, it's I hard can't f- go into pips like they would just like, like, he'd be Aye. all over. I'm like, I don't know how people can fake a pips appointment. It's very hard. See him, like, fuck, it's a master. In fairness, I have mates that could get Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I told you about my mate before. I think I've spoken about it in the show. The cunt wouldn't wise for four or five weeks. And then That's when you went to pick him up, he would smell like piss, and then he would piss himself in the fucking... <laughs> proper like, method. Proper, proper, like, That's and so you're like, this method. is good. No, like, never <laughs> I know go, a guy never go full, who lost Never this. go full retard, like, but he <laughs> went full retard like he did. I know a guy lost with one leg who lost his pip, and your guy, your <laughs> friend's fucking being a dirty bastard for five weeks. The leg didn't grow back. They just took it off him. 
Not the, not the leg. Yeah, yeah. The way. We're taking your other leg. Huh? <laughs> it did grow back, but it took that off. Dude. We're taking it off. Yeah, we're not going to get pips. <laughs> fuck you, dickhead. <laughs> so, yeah, walking about this, everyone's like, oh, fuck you, dude. You do deserve pips. I, I am fucked walking about this festival. One. Just a wee limp. I seen you run across the road last night. Yeah. You darted across that road. You're like, me, me, I can do it. For a brief amount of time, and then I'm fucked immediately. After. And then I was like, "Well, and you went, <laughs> and then you put, so it, then you put it on. Uh, yeah, you did all right. Yep. Uh, but, uh, I can run for like, like I can move well for like a short amount of time, and then my body's just like, see, fucked, man. Have you went to see any shows? I've seen loads. Man. I have only seen two shows. I've seen mm-hmm. Susie McCabe and Karen Bartlett. Yeah. Well, who's um who stood out for you, William? Mm-hmm. Was went to see this is the most fringe thing ever. It was one in the morning. We were hammered, and we got ushered into this Polish room. This Polish guy's room. At Polish one in the room. Morning. Hey, you come in. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, that's what it was like. He was like, take seat. And he, the show started. He closed the door, whipped his dressing gown off. He's just there in wee shorts. Hold on, is this a show or is this in a flat? <laughs> <laughs> just some afters. <laughs> and he just ran about, headbutting walls, punching walls. Um, he pulled out a mannequin with two horses, fucked it, uh, then ripped it apart. A baby came out of it, and then the, the, the baby shoots him dead. But then it turns out he is the baby. Edinburgh. Can't get a grant. <laughs> I can't get a grant. You'd fucking need to, because I'm you know like, you're four grand. I haven't had any reviews. I bet you he's had 20. I doubt it, man. We were the only ones in the fucking room, like... One Are you sure one. it was a show? Yeah, yeah, because... I've been to parties like that. <laughs> I have so went... He's got the mannequin out of camp. I have went to, to houses where people do some mad fucking stuff, like, and you don't know them, and you're like, right, I need to go. That's what this felt like. Yeah, no, but, that's what I mean. But we, I was there with, when Fosley was over, and Fosley was a silly wee boy when he was drinking. Fosley, when he drinks, he's not, a, he's not like, bad or anything. He's just, it's like an eight-year-old who's hyper. And you're like, put that down, stop looking at him, be quiet, sit down. That's what he's like when he's drunk. Right. So he was there the whole time, just like quest, just shouting out shit at this like mime performance. It was a very fun time. Oh, Have you not got I reviews yet? No. I thought you had. No. no. I had one and it angered me. It, well, he got a real good review, but they gave him three stars. So uh, it was like a real brilliant raid. <laughs> yeah. But them saying you have a small dick at the end. Of <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I read, I read that actually, and it was like all compliments. The whole I was time. waiting for the butt, and then, yeah, there but there butt. wasn't, and it was no, just it was like all three stars. But, <laughs> but what I says was, oh, I was like, do you know what? I was a real nice chicken curry fried rice. Yeah. Made and phone them again. A uh, Chinese, a Chinese was lovely. Great staff, great service. Would you go again? Maybe. And I'll be back. Like I, that's literally. I, what I, like. I think you got three stars, uh, genuinely. Because whenever I... Susie's getting four stars. Yeah. And she's been here nine, ten years. I yeah. just think they're going, well, can't give them four stars. Which is a bit shitty, to be I've, honest. I've, yeah, it's also... It's, if you deserve that good review, you deserve the fucking extra star. It's more, you also... When you're just you're not, straight stand-up. You're not paying anybody. Else. Do you know what I mean? When you've no gimmicks, you're I don't no give puppets, a fuck, or no song say, and dance. See all that? It's, it's PR, people working for you and paying people off to get them in and all. Uh, you have to pay for, what, like, chore all and all, don't you? I think you have to pay for them, yeah. I think. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? And and, and that's shit. How's, that, how's the diet been going while you're in Edinburgh? Because I'm telling you now, not good. Fuck, I've been up in the shops. I have a banana in the morning. I have gluten-free bread in there. And then I've been making myself like pastas and stuff like that. Like The, the worst stuff I had was probably that burger with you. That was very nice, that burger. That was probably... And the first day we arrived, I had a burger. And I, that's... I had churros for breakfast at 6 in the evening. Mm. That's how my dad's going. <laughs> I'm getting the side, I'm so like I'm getting so fat. Like the shirts are too big for me, but you can still see I have tits in them. That's mm. that's where I'm at. I, shirts um, are too big. Yeah, this isn't one of them. <laughs> I, um, I uh, I involuntarily found out that your dad isn't going well. How's that? <laughs> because um, I was um, like uploading. Are you well shit? No, I was uploading stuff the other day. And then, no, like, was still logged in, the, like, thing. And I went, oh, shit, I'll check to see. Hopefully I haven't, like, no, been on, like, the Mudblood account as I've been, like, still on, you know, doing my work and all. On Google, yeah. And then I was like, I'll just check. And I was like, I was like, just to see if I haven't searched anything. And I, like, went on Google to delete 
if there was, and the first result was like, where's my shit all liquid? <laughs> <laughs> that actually wasn't for me. I was having an argument with someone. <laughs> It's like, and they were like, oh, oh that's food poisoning. I'm like, I'm pretty sure you can just shit liquid and be fine. And they were like, no, it's food poisoning. So I googled it. <laughs> it is food poisoning. Is it? Yeah, yeah. And I'm not food poisoned because I'm... So well, if, you, good. I'm if your shit's liquid, it's food poisoning? Apparently so. Automatically I liquid? I didn't think so. I didn't think so, but according to Google. And when's Google ever wrong? I, but yeah, I'm God get, bless you for... Yeah, I'm, I'm I said, get, oh, fuck. I'm, get, <laughs> I'm getting food poisoning four times a week now, then. <laughs> Going by that, <laughs> <laughs> your tablets can make you do that, though. You know? Ah, yeah, yeah, clearing out your stomach. What tablet? Oh, you're on the good tablets, aren't you? The good. Sure, it's just a bad like walking away for you, but sore, dirty ankles like this. Sore, but I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm not drinking and I'm not doing anything that. That seems to surprise people that people are like, "Are you all like going wild?" And you're like, "We're too fucking bollocks, tired. Can't be ours. Even Mickey's not been that bad. No." He really has it. But I think if I've we, not seen him. But I would say if we were going mental, Mickey would be going mental. I mean, again, you wouldn't see him. Yeah. He, he's a, he likes a wee solo adventure. To Mickey likes to plan something, and then the minute you're like, okay, we're all here, where are you? He's like, I'll plan somewhere else. Mm. That's that's Mickey. Attention span of a fucking Gold, Goldfish, like, yeah. How's things back home? What are we missing? Fuck all. Um, it rained. Really heavy. Not it. That's it. Done that to- the first two days here. We're fucking tired. We were fucking soaked. soaked. First two days. The entire day, man. I was like, I hope it's not like this for the rest of the fucking... Uh, I couldn't have hacked it. That'd be fucking burning. But it's been alright. There's no food traffic or anything when it's pissing down rain either. Because mm. no one's going to go out. No. But it's been, it's been lovely, but today it's fucking... When we're cooped up in here, the sun's shining. Yeah. Well, the the field is going on. That's what you're missing. Oh, why? So, uh, When's the wife on? This Sunday. Uh, that's the end of it. I said it? that as a joke. Yeah. What the wolf tones? No. I balance it up. I'll tell you what's happening with the wolf tones. Right? Their sixtieth night, get this. Their sixtieth anniversaries next year. That's mental. Funny if they didn't do a show without you. No, that <laughs> so I we'll think, take it off. I think next year that's it. Like when you think about it, that's their sixtieth, what age are they? <sighs> Easily they're all in their eighties. Oh. Easy. I still think they're young if they're 77 at that point. Oh, right, because what did you start at 17? 17, yeah, yeah, which they could have done, yeah. but yeah. I don't know much about the history. But I don't know next year's the 60th Even, and I'm like, that's it, that'll be it. That they have to go out on that year, yeah, going to see them live too. Like, they're not exactly the most energetic bunch. No, fuck. if you told me they were like an animatronic, it's a small world, no, that's what we've said, Catholic Catholic TV, themed yeah. Ryan, they're yeah. just like, yeah. That it's literally. I, that. St- I still think they're gonna do the Futurama thing, though, where they just have their head. The, the heads, jar. yeah. Hologram. <laughs> the two pack hologram. Yeah. Fair play. Two pack with a wolf tone. It's not like they're spitting out new shit either. You know what I mean? They go and do the heads. That's what everybody wants. It's the same concert every time. It's been paced when they did. <laughs> it's pretty hard to write new when songs the, about people. That's, that's when they started up. playing too. Bastards. No, but you know what I mean. It's pretty hard to write new songs about stuff that hasn't happened. No. Ah. You know, there's nobody fighting for Ireland anymore, do you know what I mean? It'd just be a nice wee day, just like it's all lovely, you know, just a wee yeah. lovely song, just be like, oh, it's lovely, peace time. Nah, none of that. No new material from the wolf mm. I know people complain about gigs, going, I heard that joke, like, last time I came to see you. Music's the opposite. I, you went to see the Wolf Tones in 1998, and they're still <laughs> playing the same songs. Didn't they not play Belfast during the, the conflict? No, oh, they did. Did they? Oh, fuck off. I thought someone told me they didn't. I thought they just avoided it. They were liars. Mmm. Mmm. They always did it then? They done Ardoin. I remember them being in Ardoin. I remember them doing mm. the festival in like 94 and stuff. I wouldn't have went to it during that time. Why? Because I got murdered. No, you wouldn't have. I would have. Where's Belfast has always been like that? What a peaceful utopia. No, I mean, genuinely, like, I could tell you. In- I could tell you stories about people who were found in West Belfast or who were in it at parties and they were just let go and told to go home to where they're from. Wish I could say the same, but nah. No. Nah. <laughs> no. They, were, they went to the party and got home in separate fucking bags. <laughs> Different wheelie bags. Yeah, 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 yeah. They got home five days later when they found the body, yeah. You have to remember too, it wasn't a sectarian war in our city. Yeah. Although people did die, I, I'm not taking away from that, but... It, you know, if you look into the strategy, it was never about shooting dead just Protestants. Although it did happen. Yeah. 
you get what I mean? I know what you mean. I Whereas you. the loyalist paramilitaries, it was about scurring Catholics and then not joining the IRA. Yeah. So their strategy was to, you know, install fear. And how do you do that? Just shoot Catholics. Yeah. And then you had... And then the Catholics would be like, fuck up, we're not raising up uh, and burning them out of their home. So that, and that then you was, had just bad bastards like... Of course like you had Shankle butchers where it's like, you would have done that regardless of the environment you were in. People like that. Oh, fuck. The, the, the troubles obviously fucking left it open for psychopaths to fucking... <laughs> to just do... Freely do what they wanted to do. Yeah. Without fear of conviction or fucking getting caught or or people upraising against it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh. And that, and that was the shit bit about it. People lived in fear. Yeah. In their own communities. Yeah. Well, you would know it. Like, I'm a... Well, look at I'm state. I'm conflict state, How many people did he kill that maybe weren't anything? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. The head is only dead, did he? Was, was he the double agent? Yeah. Stake nephew. Yeah. There's a lot of them, wasn't there? More than we'll ever know. Yeah. Nah. This is, again, I don't like... Not, dirty war. Not I don't like talking about it, but when I talk about it, it's like, I've read this. I it wasn't alive up. at the yeah. time. Do you know what I mean? Because mm. that's how... I, I do, do you ever get people are you fully into it? And you you're think like, think if you were born, Do you think if you were born back then that you would have joined them? No. No? No. Now, you see, you have a modern type of thought process, but... I, I always do. did. Well, yeah, I, I, you know, it's hard for me to say... Yeah. But I don't think I just so. think, and, and, and I look at, and I mean this on both sides, but you look at some of the people, like ordinary people that would have been like teachers or you yeah. know, doctors even, who were involved in it, and you're going, you know... Some very, very clever people. Yeah. Who got caught up in the... But you don't just get caught in it because you're psycho. I mean, some of them genuinely just felt like yeah. that was the process, you know? I mean, it, it must be like the same way... When you were drafted into an army during a war, yeah, did you watch what? What's probably the best war movie? Saving Private Ryan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you see them. Yeah. They were all ordinary fucking people, but yet once you're put in that environment, you're able to fucking do it. Now, not everybody was, but a lot of them's able to just to go out and kill and fight in war and then see all that madness and done. So I think everyone has the ability. I think humans have the ability to be animals and be yeah. the way they are even the for I know people hate touts the, and this movie gets shit on I like it the movie 50 Dead Men Walking mm-hmm. you watch that I'm like well I can get why you would do it when there's people getting fucking well, I don't think them people done it for them reasons no he did it for no no he did it for okay you're not gonna beat my bollocks in anymore and you give me a car well he was getting paid that's what I mean yeah. they give him a car they give him fucking money yeah so you know, he was he was doing it for gain, monetary gain, yeah. and but he's also born, the raw just like bursting in this house and being like, "You have to fucking hide this." Mm-hmm. No real choice in the matter, so he just kind of going right. Well, fuck well you. you can sort of go off his story, but he this made is him, the movie I'm watching. No, no, no. he is. made himself out to be like fucking J- John Wick. Yeah, there's a scene in that movie. He's on like the top floor and of he jumps a fucking out. hotel, and he jumps out the window onto the street and gets that, up and that, runs uh, away. That was in Thunberg. Yeah, and they were going to. They were going to drown him in the bath. Yeah. But he, uh, I think he, it was more to do with the ones that had him in the house. Yeah. Weren't fucking paying attention. Yeah. But he did jump out the window. Yeah. I don't think he jumped out that high of a window, though. It was two, three two, stories. So yeah. It was high enough. I mean, in the movie, he's he like fucking... He jumps on the top of the I swear to God, he's on the yeah. top of the fucking tar blocks. Yeah. <laughs> and no, that's like what a I mean. dark night. Like, whenever I watched it, because the like, guy would know stories about that and yeah. like what went on at the time. Yeah. From people, accounts on the ground sort of thing. And he makes himself out to be like fucking Rambo and he wasn't. <laughs> he was a wild head, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. They get that guy in the movie to get him who's not Alex Maskey, but it is absolutely Alex Maskey. I was watching the thing the other day torture. about Paisley, House of Paisley, right? And it was showing the thing about Michael Stone. Like, no, it's like comedians, you know, quit when you're ahead. Yeah. He should have quit when he was ahead. <laughs> that last one when he went in to tell Stormont and the girl was holding him. Like, I was sitting here watching it. I was like, he's went full Connor Burns. <laughs> Michael Stone's went full Connor Burns. And do you know who else is going Connor Burns? Fucking Connor McGregor. Connor McGregor's lost his goddamn mind. I think he's going to be. The the sad story you're in twenty years time when you tell your friends like no he was great at one time, he wasn't always fucking this mental cunt. 
Like he'll be the George Best of the UFC. I see. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like it'll can just be it. sad when you remember it. No one can see it. And and he was on the other day going, I knock him out one punch, and I was like, he's even tweeting like Conor Burns now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just... Did you ever see the, the footage of when he was in a bar in Ireland and some old guy slabbering at him? And then he yeah. smacks him. He smacks him and the old one's like, all right. <laughs> and just can, keeps saying Because he pie. wouldn't drink his whiskey. Yeah, and I've had it. Understandable. Yeah. That's it's not great. fucking stinking. But if they want to sponsor the podcast, then fucking... Proper yeah, 12. Take it, absolutely. Yeah, this next one will just be is, awesome. is, is beers meant to be nice? What's that one? The Forge thing. It's the same as... Um, uh... It's like Guinness. Have you have you tasted uh, McConnell's beer yet? No. Le Gras? Le Gras. I didn't know he had a beer. He yeah. just launched it. Le Gras, you See, if you had a beer, what would it be called? What would you call yours? Good. <laughs> Good lager. Good said. <laughs> it's like, do you ever watch an Adam Sandler movie? Someone pointed this out to me and I can't watch it in the same way. The amount of product placement he yeah. has. Mm-hmm. Everyone's drinking like a can of Pepsi or Coke yeah. or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. If they're getting the pizza, it's but always they, like I hear is the... Oh, Subway. He, uh, I, I like how he does it. Uh, the Subway. It's, it's good. Because he takes the piss out of that. See the same sense too. I was talking to somebody who makes movies and stuff like that, right? So they have to self-fund. Yeah. Right? Because the movie game... That's why there's strikes at the minute. Because they're paying them dick all. There's no money anymore because streams have fucked over music artists and films. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whereas you used to get paid, you put your fucking film in the fucking theatre and then you had it in a rental shop and you get paid per fucking whatever. Yeah. Whereas that's gone. So It's because it's, now they don't disclose the metric of like how well the film did. There's somebody getting the money for it and it's not the artist. And it's yeah. Not, so... When you're making movies now, they, f- they do it different because the movie studios aren't coming in and going, yes, what's this movie going to cost? $45 million to make. There you go. There's the money. And then what we'll do is we'll take them costs out and then how much we make at the box office. And it's not made like anything no. So what you have to do is you have to get people to fund into it. Yeah. So they're like... And it's shit because what's happening... The way sometimes you watch a movie and you go, fuck, some of the actors in it were shit. Some of them actors have paid to be in that. Yeah. And they're not actors. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, they're just people that are in it. Yeah. Because they want to be in it. But like, yeah. There, there's a well known Belfast fella who's paying to be in movies. Is he? <laughs> you know I, know, I, is. I know who you're yeah, talking I about. I don't know why I'm asking his name, but. Don't mind, tell me after. <laughs> he's paying to be in movies. I, I, if you is think, he an actor? No. No. <laughs> and he's neither a comedian either, but he's can famous we, for his videos that he puts up. Can we say what he. Do I know him? We'll tell you after. Okay. But once we tell you, you go, oh, fuck, I read, okay. I got, th- okay, okay. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, they, he's paying to be in movies and stuff. Right. Yeah, well, it makes sense. But but it's also why the fuck that was streaming, because you used to be able to go, okay, you sell 10,000 albums. This here's is your 5%. You now it's, here's a billion streams, but I'm not telling them what you're making off that. No, but they're going, there is no money, and you're going, well, who's getting paid? Where's the money going? Yeah, well, the, I, a lot of movie I think and production. Snoop Dogg called it out. He did. He did. He he bought everything to do with Death Row Records. Yeah, he like um, he went to them and bought the rights to it or something. Like, but then uh, that didn't give him the publishing rights, so he bought that. But then that didn't give him the intellectual property of it. He bought that. So, like, everything top to bottom belongs to him. There's loads still of cunts. doesn't get paid from streams. And that's uh, what his fucking great is. There's loads of cunts now just selling their masters. Because that's the only way they're they making always any money. Anyway. Yeah, I remember. It's not why Paul McCartney and Michael Jackson fell out. Yeah. Because he, ex- he was explaining to Michael about like, like, publishing. Hey, and Michael Jackson's like, I'm going to buy your records. No, Paul I McCartney think- <laughs> said Paul McCartney said to him, you should buy it because you're the only one I know who has the money to buy it. And no, 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 he, no, he, he was, t- over it. He was no, t- no, but he was joking about it. Yeah, yeah. but he, he says didn't want Michael Jackson. The only thing he was given off about the situation. Yeah, and he was saying like the only person I know could buy it's you. And Michael Jackson went and bought it, and he went, "I'm gonna buy your, your I'm gonna buy your records." <laughs> and Paul Jake, Garner's he like, bought, uh-huh. he phoned him up, and went, "He he." <laughs> 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 I just know that's how Paul, him and Paul McCartney were never. I actually liked that song to them. Say say say, I liked it. Yeah. 
great song. Isn't it? It's a great song. And the We Dance remix that came out after, the All Alone, I said, Oh, by the phone, waiting for you, baby. That's a great song. Did uh, they do another one together? I think the girl was oh, mine. No. Uh, I, no, song. I don't think so. I was going to say one, but who, um, it was Paul McCartney and Stevie Wonder. You were thinking Ebony and, Ebony and Ivory, because yeah. I was thinking of that too. Yeah. I do. But Paul McCartney is some shade, but he's some bangers too. I, I love Paul McCartney. Like, he's some cheese on him though, doesn't there's he? A, there's a thing going about that he died in a car accident and it's yeah. an imposter. G- going about since the 1960s, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe it, but Do you? No. I don't know. Oh, we found a guy who looks like Paul, can also play every instrument, sounds like him, looks like him, and can also write the same But I love the wee conspiracy. Bollocks. I love the conspiracy of it. They used to fuck about with that too because they knew people said it. Yeah. So they put, they always put like, Paul is dead, Paul is dead when you play bat, it back. Bat, play bat, it back yeah. Right. yeah. How do you work that out? How do you work it out to make it sound like that? I, I don't, they figured out it however you can do it. I don't know. And but they it, fuck with people all the time. Yeah. I think they knew there was becoming like, a, oh, buy this record and listen to it. And they're like worshipping the devil. So they were like, all right, let's start doing backmasking and fuck with people on it, and it'll build a bit of intrigue on the records. Wonder is there any records when you play it back to front? Is it the, the Sash or like a soldier song or a wolf cone song? Listen to wolf tones I, backwards. And it's the Sash, that'll be <laughs> yeah. fucking hilarious. Ulster is British, Ulster is British. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be the first next search party song. <laughs> yeah. It's going to have back, back mask, fucking loyalist propaganda. <laughs> yeah. Backmasking, it's just us saying the name of that guy who pays to be in films. <laughs> <laughs> so play this podcast backwards, that, that's what you get. If you say this guy's name three times, he turns up at your house. <laughs> <laughs> Four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> that would be it. That, that could, you could do a horror movie with this guy, like, you could. Scary dude. Don't say that, he'll fucking get himself into a horror film. <laughs> Is he scary? Uh, not, not that way, it's just, there's things I know about. I'm not gonna I, I don't know you're, I don't even know no we're not going down that rabbit hole we should hole. back mask into this episode <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going down that rabbit hole he he shags dogs he shags no, dogs no worse than that <laughs> <laughs> what sort of what's he do <laughs> <laughs> I thought I knew who it was <laughs> I have no fucking idea <laughs> Or isn't shagging it's a dog. not even funny stuff do, like do it's dogs shag funny. him what's even well, no it's not even like that it's not even like that but anyway moving fastly moving on, on. Moving he shags fastly puppies on. moving fastly on oh god oh fucking my brain's melted man. I'm very sleepy even um, are you surprised when you rang me today that I actually answered yeah it was when I turned up here and he was like where's William and I went I don't know. And he says, I haven't heard from him yet. And I went, uh, No, because when you <laughs> rang me, I was like, we definitely agreed. Yeah, yeah. 12. I was up. Yeah. But even in Amber, you're late. Do you know that, like, I've had 25 people at this fringe, at my show, say about you being a wee cunt about being late all the time. For for what? <laughs> for every episode. Like, it, it's not even like... It's, it's like every episode about this? Yeah. Well, they don't record it. I don't give a fuck. Mm. They, it goes out on time for them. Yeah. They're just saying, well, he's a wee fucker for being late all the time. Oh. It's a busy boy. Things to be out. I don't. I was on the go from half five this morning. I was in it's the right getting stuff for curry. Then came back and went to bed. Do you know what I mean? Then get up here and had the place all sitting rally for you. And all. Do you know what I mean? And you it's couldn't lovely. be on time. It's a lovely wee apartment, isn't it? Wasn't it? You weren't. I got, what did I get here? Five past twelve? That's lovely. Don't look at what we've been recording for like half an hour. Don't look at your phone now. Because I rang you when you were walking across the road to tell you there was a disabled spot there for you. I was getting parked though. I count that as being on time. (laughs) I'm in the facility. (laughs) (laughs) I'm in the office. I'm in on time. You're not. You weren't in the building. You weren't even in the building. I was getting. Yeah, well, I'm not parking in the building. Right. Do you want me to just slam the fucking car through the living room and be like, I'm here? No, but when you, you're starting Aren't you glad 12, I saved those two minutes? 12, it means you'd be in here for like quarter two. All right, so just all right, concentrics. Fucking... <laughs> the See big the way, boss corporate world. I'm a free spirit. See the way Michael Jackson owned Paul McCartney then? Do yeah. you think, you know, he would have kept him going fucking as if he was like his wee worker? It's like Paul... Paul need- McCartney got Michael Jackson whacked. What? <laughs> Paul McCartney definitely got him whacked I don't know like 
Let me hear it. Though. Well, here's the thing, right? Why do all these people... And I know they go, fuck out, but they may do drugs. There's cunts in the city centre doing worse than what them cunts were doing, right? I bet they're not doing 50 nights at the O2, like, on top of the drug use. Yeah, I know, but at the same time, he didn't do them fucking gigs. That's my point. He didn't do the 50 nights at fucking O2. Ah, because he was fucked? But he, he would tour before that. He didn't do that. them because he was fucking dead. Yeah, but, but before he hadn't that. Been touring. He hadn't been touring. But the years before that. The Wolf Tones are in their 80s and still fucking touring. So, so he developed a high level of tolerance to painkillers because of the Pepsi advert he did. Where he accidentally got lit on fire. You're not, you're not taking that as that's why he takes all the fucking painkillers. Don't know if you get that's lit on. If I got lit on fire, story, like, I, I, I fell into the fire and a teapot was on the fire and it went over me and I don't take painkillers for that anymore. <laughs> yeah, but... You weren't lit, like, so... I was lit on fire. I fell into a lit fire. All right, Johnny Cash. Right. And <laughs> the fucking teapot, then went over the top of me. So I had a double dunter. I have the skin grass and the same in my fucking body. I don't take painkillers yes, anymore. but when you're that level of celebrity and then you become addicted to the level of painkillers you can take, you can get them like that. Be harder for I can you get painkillers. I can get right. Stronger you're not getting. You're not getting Hollywood celebrity level painkillers. You're getting the couple of ibuprofen. The fuck? No, I can get whatever you fuck I want. Right? <laughs> painkillers, ways. Have you turned into a dealer? <laughs> I'm just saying, yeah, I can get whatever you want. I know people that can get to the fucking high lanes. I know people that take fucking morphine every day and they get it and they get it and the bad. Do you know what I mean? And a mate fucking his heart fucking exploded <laughs> because he was taking fucking high doses of fucking coding. So. So taking a lot of codeine will make your heart explode. It enlarges your heart. Which is what my point is. When right. you take a lot of it. Yes, I get that. Yeah. But I'm saying, it's awful. He he got misdiagnosed by a doctor who had lots of experience. Yeah. So he overdosed him. That wasn't human error. That wasn't a mistake. Oh, no, but it can't be his record company going, we need these gigs to go ahead. Fuck him. I like keep, Elvis. Keep yeah, yeah. Right, so... Or is a conspiracy theory similar to what I'm saying about Paul McCartney? You fuck somebody off, <clears> you play the long game, and then you get him whacked. And it's that long after that he's just like, well, I'm not going to let that cunt have his fucking 15 minutes in the so, fucking two. To clarify, so what's happening here is Michael Jackson buys Paul McCartney's I think I think Michael Jackson things. and I think Prince, somebody got them bumped off. Right. I 100% believe that. And how, how do you think Paul McCartney did it? No, I think Paul McCartney made a hard part to play with it. He would be one of the suspects. If I was Colombo and I was looking at it, I'd definitely look into Paul McCartney. Cause he, I cause don't he see you as Colombo. He fucked Hang him on, up. Hang on, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck up now, right? Hang on. No, but you Still look at... finger up. It's the first thing okay. you do. You look at people who are going to benefit from it. You would look at his family. You would look at his kids. You would look at his work colleagues. He would look at his kids. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. I do just think it's that level of drug use that he was on. It's got to fuck you in the long run, man. And people forget he was famous forever. You know that it wasn't the amount of drugs he was taking. It was that he was misdiagnosed. He was given an overdose by a doctor. A yeah. fucking trained professional. And that's some fucking prick. It's only out of his training. No, yeah, he had that. What was his name? What was the cunt's name? Michael Jackson's doctor. Murphy? Something Murphy? It was Murphy. Dr. Murphy. Black Road. Jackson's. And he got it with Conrad Murphy. Murray? Uh, Conrad Murray. That's it. That's it. He got used the... to be the GP down in Short Strong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he told me so. He was like, hey, hey, I dude. used to give a sick My nickname Michael Jackson, bro. Hey, hey, Michael no, Jackson was in here. Look, look up look up a doctor and look up, has he ever done anything like that before? And all I'm saying is, see that high level stuff? See somebody wants wiped out? We can go in the Princess Diana here. She was obviously fucking wiped out. Do you agree with me? Yes. Do you think she was bumped off? 100%, yes. 100%. There's a white car that fucking bumped that car. It's never been found. It's never ever been thing. See the guy who the suspected was driving it? He's fucking dead. You Look don't... Hold on. I you don't I, think? I said I don't know. I don't know. The Princess Diana I wouldn't one rule it out. It's not one more. Isn't like, even like... At, at one like... Not even a tin hat. One, that's just like... Wait. Yes. Everybody that's look, accepts Let's look at this other one. Saudi Arabia fucking... Sanji, is it the... Kosagi? Kosagi was your man? The, he went into the fucking thing, they cut him up in the bits and fucking get rid of his body. Joe Kosagi? No. 
<laughs> they got him, the bastard. It was uh, Khashoggi. Because he was talking about the country. Yeah. And the country, the fucking, that goes right to the fucking Prince of Saudi Arabia. The fucking got him into the embassy in Turkey and the fucking cut him into pieces. I remember that. Right. So that goes on. It's not, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not saying it right. doesn't. Now, John Lennon, shot by your man. Don't think that was a setup. Uh, don't think there's a conspiracy. That there. one you don't? I don't think that anybody paid him to Is do that it. That one I do. What? That one I do. No, I know. Because your mom was just a fucking freak. And he just... There's a photograph of him getting fucking stuff signed and apparently he had the gun, the gun on pocket, him. So yep. he'd done a dry run. That's not a high train thing because he wouldn't have got his photo took with it. You know, like, John Lennon could have just been shot with a sniper rifle from across the fucking park. Well, but didn't he read, like, the catcher in the rag and was like, I need to kill John Lennon? Or is that someone else that killed someone after reading catcher in the rag? Don't know. But my point being is, so there is an instances where people are killed, like, by fucking freaks and stalkers. Jill Dando, 100% fucking, she knew fucking that everything. That I agree with. That she knew with. everything that was going on. Did they ever get a killer? No. They've never caught anybody for that. That was a fucking hit. They've never caught anybody for the Princess Diana thing. That was a fucking hit. Right? Now, come to that one with Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson had that much protection around him and that much fucking people watching him. It wasn't that easy just to wipe him out. So what they've done is they've got that doctor they've got to tell him. They've threatened him with his family. They've threatened him with something. And they've made him do what they do. And he got away with it in a sense where he was like, I just fucked up once. Medical profession. This but is the most Holy Lands after party vibe of a podcast we have ever well, done. Yeah, so, so the feel is dead on. Like, um, <laughs> five, the 80s, the 80s five, so I got a nice review. Five, <laughs> five days in Edinburgh does this to you. <laughs> I, I swear we're not doing drugs, man. We both tuned in and we're really like, they knew the penals and we're fucking killing them. You know what's wrong? I'm, I've, I'm not, my kids and all's not here, so <laughs> my mind's wandering on my own sitting in the wee flat. I'm You're like, just making curries, fuck, actually, like, that the God boss or Daphne fuck, I'm gonna wipe out. <laughs> <laughs> Prince Daphne got wiped out. I remember Prince the, Daphne got wiped out. On the first day you met Robbie in Edinburgh, you told him that like see after you told me that snakes and ladders joke, I was up all night. <laughs> he, he looked so confused by what you meant. <laughs> Cause I just go down a rabbit hole with stuff. <laughs> just the image of you up at four in the morning being like but snakes and ladders aren't the opposites of each other. What is that? And that was you. It's just a, a, once I know, I'm like, I need to know a wee bit about that. Yeah, yeah, I get that. I can't, can't so, like, you can't just turn around and say to me, "Oh, see that, that, and that." See something, something triggers in me, and I go, "Well, that's interesting. Where did that come from?" And then I need to know. So that's when I. So people then go, "Polly facts, where they come from?" It's because I've read into something or I've went into something, and then I go, "Oh, it's like the fucking Germany having the green rig." Read into it, believes the story. Yeah. Turned out absolute hoax. Yeah. Wikipedia has been the worst enemy for you since that been invented. Yeah, because then you're sort of thinking, "Oh no, that's legit," but it's not. Aye. Aye. Aye the, according to this, um, Mark Chapman. Thought that he was holding Caulfield from Catcher, Catcher in the Rye, Rye which, if you've <laughs> ever read, is the most boring fucking book I've ever read in my life. So he wanted to kill John Lennon because he was. He thought famous. Jodie Foster would fuck him. Yeah, yeah. Jodie Foster? I don't know. Yeah, I, wasn't it him also did that? Like he was trying to impress Jodie Foster? I've or no was idea. this another killer? Could have been. I, I Jodie Foster not for another 15 years. When was Bugsy Malone? Late 80s? Ah, then someone else. Who fucking... I need to look that up. Is Jodie Foster another one from San Jose Lambs? Yeah, yeah, someone did something to impress Jodie Foster. And, like, not... Like, it didn't work. Anthony Hopkins had a brain. That impressed <laughs> the Bally Center. What killer? Talk amongst yourselves. I ate his brains of... Santa <laughs> Father Beans and an ice Chianti. <laughs> Honestly, talk about shows. Go I think Kieran Bartlett could be like the Anthony Hopkins in that movie, like for like chippies. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I just brains. Because Kieran's that smart, but he laid a gravy chip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I, I mean? His brains with a pest. Do you know what I mean? Beans. <laughs> it's John Hinckley, guy who shot Reagan. Right. 
He was trying to impress Jodie Foster. By shooting Reagan? By shooting the president. Why? What did Reagan do? The president. What would have impressed her? Actually? Hey, I, let's not... Fuck you, forgive me. Yes, now I'm going to go and look at this cunt. <laughs> Dude, I, I need to know why he thought of, he needed to impress her and why that would have impressed her. Did Regan do something and fucking Jodie Foster? Here's a theory. He's fucking mental. I know, but that's not going to help me. I'm going to fucking nag to you. It's not going to help Regan either. <laughs> but um, he didn't win. He, didn't, he only shot him, didn't he? He only shot him, yeah. He didn't um, kill him. He was like found him. not guilty by reason of insanity. So he was genuinely certifiably ever, fucking mental. Ever see that video of Reagan? Like a couple of months after he was shot, there's a bang. Like the, he's like doing a speech out in public, and there's like a big loud bang, and everybody thinks it was a gunshot, and but it wasn't. It was just something like blowing up, it was like a just, car backfiring. Yeah, and he just and goes, like, "Miss me." <laughs> he doesn't even look up. Doesn't even flinch. <laughs> <laughs> missed. <laughs> you missed me. <laughs> Who was it? Wasn't uh, Theodore Roosevelt shot mid speech? Finish the fucking speech. The order? What's he called? Theodore Roosevelt. You didn't say it the first day. I'm tired. Theodore Roosevelt, he got shot, and t- t- it was like, hang on, I've got another fucking 20 in the chamber here. I'm going to finish this speech. I haven't watched all night at the museum. That's not covered in it. <laughs> <laughs> they mention that he, like, wrestled a bear or something. They don't mention they get shot. Right. But I know that he got shot and finished the speech, which is fucking badass. That's kind of like... Fair fucking play there. I wouldn't be at that. I don't know. Like, how many people? I don't have, like finishing many gigs people, when I'm hungover. How many people have been kneecapped in West Belfast and still finished their space? You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm really sorry for what I done to my mummy and my dad. I am really sorry. sorry. Oh, thank you. Sorry, Mister. <laughs> I don't know anyone's ever been kneecapped. The maddest one ever I see, like video is the priest. He was like a bishop in Canada, and he was given this big mad fucking speech on stage like in French Canadian and uh, the last words he says is thank you fella and he fucking drops dead on the spot do you ever see that no that's a mad one that no do you remember this is a video that thank you fella and he dies just dies like he says thanks to God like sort of thing God's like no thank worries thank you for everything and it just turned his lights out it's fucking weird fuck I'm just unplugging a fucking and then the, the wee Indian man on the TV and he dies in fucking mid interview and his fucking eyes roll in the back of his head and then his face. I've seen that. That's fucking mad. Have you ever seen this dead the rounds when like everyone had a mobile phone that had like two videos we all on have it? Them no, but like when you had a wee Nokia that could have the memory of like one pixelated video. Uh-huh. And it was the footballer. And they're like, oh, he gets possessed. Angel of death. Angel of death. So he just like hit, he's like gets tackled and then just rolls, 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 gets up, does like a fucking runs around backwards and then lies down and like that and then collapses. Did he die? Nah, he was fine. He's had that. It was apparently it was just a fit. But it's mental, like without that context, you're like that's fucking insane. Right. But apparently, he just had a fit. It is intense to watch, like because he mm. just gets up and like sprints backwards, mm. and then rolls over again and just stretches his body. Yeah, out. everybody used to say that's like proof that you know he's uh, been possessed. They, demons, uh, demons, no. That's, that's proof of the Illuminati, mate. Yeah, it was always that. Say, demons are real. Same as fucking full parking behind us. What is that? You know, you see, to be honest, you can't even hear it that much. Can you not? No. That's it. That just sounds like I'm going. I'm like, demons are real. <laughs> and an atheist. And they're doing and the, an atheist. Demons are real and they're doing the pins. Well, I was an atheist looking up. It's my atheist. No. It is? No. I look like a wee, like a wee fucking. Have you took a name? Ever? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I can't move on them. So I'll just be sitting like the stuff in my. I can't move on them. I can't. The stuff in my muscles up too much. <laughs> so I'm just in the corner of like a full wave and like, I'm having a wonderful time. <laughs> and that's me for five hours. That's you done. Yeah. What are you like on these? I can't imagine. Never took them. But no. Lies. Never. Never you, them. I believe, wouldn't have never taken one. No. Him, I don't believe. Never. Never. Lies. <laughs> you look like you've ate in your back pocket right now. <laughs> and they're all shite. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still looking at 20 quid for each one. And when you get it, that's all part of it, and you're like, that's balling, that's a balling. Green's the costs. <laughs> yeah. It's one of them blue Hagen's bro. Uh, what are we on there, Sean? We're on like 15 minutes. It's been a very, very insightful episode. Is though so? What the Diana, Diana thing convinced me? Right, with, with five minutes, convinced me. There that was Diana a guy was who was a paparazzi. 
right? But wasn't listed as being there, but he'd been following her all day. Okay. And he had a wee white Fiat car. And there was that paint from that car was on the Mercedes. Right. And the cameras were turned off in the tunnel five minutes before the car entered into the tunnel. Okay, that's weird. Yes. And then then nobody mentioned but the ones on the bikes who were following says there was the white car hit the car, hit the Mercedes. Okay. Hit the tail of it and made it fucking crash. And then drove off. And then the fancy they found the car. Then the car went missing. And then your mom was found dead. Oh, shit. And then it's just a circumstance of it. Like, somebody who had that much... Power. Power, that much insider knowledge that, of, yeah. like, an institution where, like, a split like this had never happened before. And yeah. she you was know also I mean? turning Roman Catholic, which would be... She would be one of the first royals to have that religion. Yeah, and just, like, the Since fact that the she's, yeah. she was probably more likeable by the public than most of the royals anyway... And having all that knowledge and threatening to do stuff with it. I mean, you, know I mean? you just look See, at See, initially, I would be like, eh, I don't really believe she knew that much. And then with the Prince Andrew stuff, I'm yeah, really like, and, mm, yeah, and well, then all the Jimmy Savile stuff. Look at, look at, and look, so that, that's what, all that stuff. I'm like, and then look what? at, look at, uh, like the Queen's sister. Like, they stopped her from marrying a man who was a married man who she loved. Because it was no good for the royal family, so that why was gave... it sweet for Charles to do that then? Because he was the king in waiting. Yeah, still though, with not bit. Well, I mean, they try and stop it to be fair. Yeah, but once you are the par, once you are the like they did try and tell Charles what he could and couldn't do. Yeah, but he was like balls you know ever see his sex to Camilla oh like, fuck that's so funny they're so, I wish I was a dude I wish I was your tampon and oh, was, I would just hide inside your vagina all day and you're was, like and see that their whole see your man that found that like they got that like it was a, a fella in a caravan outside his house like a real down and out cunt that had a CB radio and just came across it and fucking recorded it <laughs> and the paper paid him like a million pound for it and they, they sat on it for fucking Years, yeah, it's very funny. To the point when it came out, it was more just like a wee side page story of isn't this silly? Because they were trying to control and keep it out of the thing, but yeah. then he done something that they were able to go, no, well, we can put this in. Yeah, very funny story. I you enjoy know. that. Well, unreal. How so, much has it to do with King Ralph? Who's that? Do you remember that film? <laughs> do you never watch John, King Ralph? John Goodman, wasn't it? Yeah, John Goodman. What a fucking! I love John Goodman. Do you? Uh, I can't rule the nineties. Mm-hmm. He's brilliant. The John, Borrowers. Are you thinking of John Condy? Nope, I'm thinking of John Goodman. Fred Flintstone himself. John Goodman. John Condy was a force to be ragging with. He was Sully great. Sullivan. I've never seen anything with John Condy in it, though. Home Alone? What? I forgot he's in Home Alone. Yeah. Home Alone, okay. planes, Thank trains, you. and automobiles. <laughs> haven't seen it. You had to watch. I, haven't, I know. Uncle Buck. I haven't Uncle seen Buck. it. Uncle Buck. Fuck me. But he has. Uncle he has Buck, a, fuck me. Was, a, was that the tagline of the film? <laughs> It was a pretty do, hardcore do film you know for John Uncle Condon? Buck was where he met Macaulay Culkin, and he then put him in for that role of Home Alone. Right, okay. Yes. John Go- mm-hmm. or John Candy in Home Alone got less than the pizza man. Uh, like the that's guy right. delivered yeah. the pizza. John Candy got $400 to be in the movie. He just done it as a favour for the directors. Because yeah. they were the directors of Uncle, Uncle Buck and stuff. He, he, and he, and he told yeah. him to get Macaulay Culkin. And then see this, see the, this is an great fact, see the the house, do you know when they done the whole flood in the house and doing all that? They actually took a swimming pool in a school and built the house, the house in, in the swimming pool so that they could have all that. So the inside of the house was actually inside a school swimming pool so they could have all that flooding and they could have all that thing. Holy shit. Yeah, it was like a, and one movie fucking company stopped production halfway through and then another one took it up. So... Say, like, Universal had it and then thing. I don't know which one's which, but the other ones then took it up. So the movie was near not being made. Holy shit. But see his whole scenes? They didn't know they weren't scripted. So the deal was, John Connolly says, I want to come in, I'm going to say, what we're going to come in, we're going to do it in one day, we're going to fill in my scenes, and I'm going to tell you what's happening. And he went in, he done the whole thing about the polka polka. And the, yeah, yeah. And the thing, it was all ab lib. The polka it's all so it was all ab, so weird. It was all ab lib, and he just picked what he wanted to do. And he, he done that in one day, and he got $400. How'd he die? 
Speedball? Eating pancakes and bacon too much. <laughs> <laughs> we, we went different directions with that. Yeah. I thought he took a speedball and died. Um, or is that Belushi? Bruce, Brewster's Millions. It's a great. My ah, favourite. Oh, Prior? John Conley's. Oh, oh, John Conley's in there. And that's... Also haven't The Main seen, Man. I haven't seen that. The Main Man. Conley? Uh, no, not Conley. Prior. Richard Pryor. He's great. I, I honestly, I know his stand-up. Don't know any of his movies. I'm the other See no evil about. here, no evil. I love his, I love his movies. Here, great movie. And uh, what was the other one? Oh, uh, Star Crazy. Star Crazy. Did he do one with Eddie Murphy? Um, pass. Not too sure. I'm saying, I like know. I said, I really don't know Pryor's like. Films. Do you know the original Ghostbusters had Eddie Murphy? In it? Yes, Eddie Murphy, um, Dan Aykroyd, and then the other guy that was in. That was in uh, the Blues Brothers with Dan Aykroyd. Which Belushi. 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 And Pee Wee Herman. Herman. Pee Wee Herman was on the way? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His celebrity arrest is probably my favourite out of anyone's. I've never heard of it. He was caught wanking, and so there's movie the theatres in America video? that plays porn. And he right. was caught wanking in one of them. Wasn't it? Was which? There stories of him being a pedo, wasn't it? Not, not that I'm, not that I'm aware. Pedo of. Herman, Pedo Herman, <laughs> Pedo Herman's Playhouse. He died the other day. Po- yeah, serious. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's he was arrested for wanking in a movie theater that was playing porn. Which I'm like, it's a wee. I mean, I assume that's what everybody in there was going to be doing. No, it's weirder that you're just gonna watch it. No. What do you mean, no? You're I mean, going to watch porn on a massive screen and you're just watching I, it? I spoke about this. My mates tried to do this when we were younger and they would put a porn on and try and wank in front of you. That's not acceptable. It's weirder to just stick it on. We were kids. No, he, you yeah. You don't pull the balls yourself in front of your mates. Yes, right. The, this is Pee-wee not... Herman wasn't in front of his mates. Well, yeah. how do we know? How do we know he wasn't there? Well, own? right enough. How do we know? Because he was alone. So how did they know then? How did know he was doing it? Someone came in the movie theater, shining the wee light he on. He came in the fucking movie theater. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't get to. That's what I'm saying. Fuck he sake. didn't even get to. Poor yeah, wee Pee Wee Herman. At, at, at exposure, no matter what. I know, but it's still for me. I'm like, why? It's weirder that you would just go into a movie theater, watch porn on a fucking cinema screen, and just be like, yeah, if sit down with a coke and a popcorn and just enjoy it. If the dick bit and spit, you can't quit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in fairness, no, no, that's not get away from it. I've had a wank. Not myself, but I've got wank watching Titanic in the cinema. Like, do you know what I mean? So the ship wasn't the only thing I went down. That day, do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, don't be trying to justify by going no with it. I was like, it doesn't say on it seven pound for a ticket. You see the movie and you can wank as much as you want. That's not. It's not a wank. A fucking. It doesn't say that, but I feel it's implied. No, it's not. Especially if you get VIP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get recliner seats and you get you get a wank and we touch you. <laughs> I get what Omniplex. you mean, that they, they, them cinemas, obviously people, but if you're also famous, yeah. don't do it, don't do, yeah. someone's going to record you. Yeah, get a, get a VHS player like everybody else. Go and wank in uh, the comfort of your own home. Why does Pee Wee Herman have to go to a cinema to have a wank? That's what you have to wonder. No. Exactly. <laughs> Surely he had enough money to have his own cinema in the house to have a wank. <laughs> what do you think Pee Wee Herman was pulling in? Big man? He was massive. Was he? He was massive. So I only know him as like... He was massive in America. Like he was... He'd have enough to have his own video. What tapes, was in that... You know what, I mean? what was in that works of Pee Wee? This is the weirdest episode we know we've him, ever done. We know him in Ireland. We know him in Ireland, right? What's that tell you? If we knew him in Ireland, what's that tell you? What was the net worth... Of Pee Wee Herman? <laughs> was... Circa 1984. The, this started with us talking about why would people join worth. paramilitaries and I was going what's Pee Wee Herman worth? <laughs> <laughs> what are you reckon? Edinburgh is taking my soul. I'll reckon? go f- 20 million. No, not as much. 3.4. I love how you went there with a point four, you dick. <laughs> is the state was worth 5 million when he died? All right. So during his heyday? Do it would well. have been a lot more. Exactly. All right. Okay. Yeah, what was he doing in there? That's a good question. He died from cancer. All right. Plus he was 70. <laughs> Plus he was 70. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know who's dead? Rest in peace. Was Pee Wee Herman a pedo? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Anybody who works with kids, you sort of do <laughs> worry crazy. about them, don't you? <laughs> do you know what? I'll agree with because I used to be like, there's no way they could be a pedo that work with kids. And now I'm like, well, that would be a good cover story. Because every TV executive that's... Like, if we're comedians, we go to comedy clubs. No. Nah. So if you're a pedo, you're going to go to a primary school. That's what you're going to do. Like, you're going to go where you can get your stuff. That's, I'll, you, g- I'll give you that. You need groceries, you go to a shop. It's, it's, it's like... I'll give you it. I suppose your faith is shaken because every TV presenter you grew up with was a massive pedophile. I also knew the word went back in, but it was accepted back then. If you're Pee Wee Herman, you wank in the cinema. What we, was he a pedophile? Let me see that. He was charged for kid porn probe. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, what? Glad he had cancer. My bike! P- Paul My Pee Wee Rubens charged in kid kid porn probe. The actor is targeted in the same investigation under which Paul Jeffrey Jones was cited for allegedly enticing a minor to pose for pornographic photos. Oh, Jesus. I fucking knew he was a pedo. I fucking knew it. (laughs) DJ Casper died today. So when his mate got... What? When his mate got arrested... Hold the phone. Paul Rubens fucking handed himself in. Right, okay. Because he had the photographs, so his mate got done with it, got lifted, and he went, well, right. I need to harm myself in because I have so many photos he made. Cunt. Jesus. Cunt. Fuck him. That's mad. Thanks for watching, everybody. I uh, DJ Casper's dead. DJ Jim- Casper? What's he Slide did? to the left. Bollocks. Slide to the right. Crisscross. Crisscross. Everybody, I'm in bed. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> DJ, uh, what team? What happened them? Uh, I think it was... Two cancer, hops this cancer, time. 58, 68. Two hops this time. Burr, burr. I do. Rest in peace and all that. That's probably my most DJ hated Casper. song in history. Was DJ Casper a pedo? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to Google it because I don't want you to be right. DJ Casper was arrested under... No. Yep. Under what? <laughs> under what? Under what? Under what? Under if suspicion if of literal. having... Underage sex with children. No, I, I'm, I'm Googling this myself. No. <laughs> DJ, DJ Casper Pedo. <laughs> Hope that wasn't a stage name. And we, we were just saying it wrong all these years. DJ Casper Pedo. Google's like, mate, nah. Hang on. Do you call it the Casper Slade or. Cha Cha Slade? Cha Cha Slade. Cha Cha Slade. Cha Cha, real smooth. <laughs> but in the song he says, is the Casper Slade part two? Ah, there's two parts to it. It's like trapped in the closet. I'm trapped in the closet. Have you ever heard that? Like, yeah, we were talking about that. Oh, yeah, we played it, yeah. There's a midget. And the midget comes out of the, the closet. closet. Shit's all over himself. What's up, so? R. Kelly. Or, uh, in the yeah, trapped in the closet. It's like a tan part. It's on my mind's telling me no. <laughs> my body. My body. DJ Cosper. My signal's terrible. R. Kelly. Well, we all know R. Well, we know that. Well, no. Well, that was known. We've talked about this so many times. He sings about it in the songs. Yes. That's a mild thing about it. Age ain't nothing but a number. In fairness, R. Kelly's fucking, I believe I can find. I, I can't banger, find, I can't find. Right? And the other one, which was, what was the R. R. Kelly song? I believe I can find. No, it Word. was a hot and fresh at the kitchen. Oh, ignition? Mama rolling his body. Yeah, I, 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 I can't see, it. I can't see. It's a banger. I can't see what you're talking about. With DJ Cosper's not a pedo, we're keeping you going. No, no, he's right. He was sued for it. Sued for it. What? Yes. No, hold on. Rolling Stone magazine. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait, no, no. Not him. Right. The art- It's Google doing like DJ Casper's mentioned in the article, but it wasn't him. Um, the guy, it was the guy done. Nah, he's dead. Him. Just you wait. Just you fucking wait. No, no, so. Give it five days, some cunt will come out and go, hmm. No, he wasn't. Um, Chris Cross. Chris Cross, don't tell your mom and dad. How low can he go? Jimmy Selvin was go. 
Can you bring us that top? Uh, uh, what was the arcade song? Remix the Ignition. That's also one Dang of my right. most hated songs in the world. <gasps> hated. No, I, I I don't like that song. Dang, it's not a, a bad song. It's a banger. It's every. See, when I was going to nightclubs at that time, the song was about twenty year old, and it's still getting played. You were in nightclubs. Yeah, when I was eighteen. Because oh, I was going to say the guy was playing that when our show was like three. Yeah, uh, that's that's what I'm saying though. And it was still on every nightclub Am you I went. Right in saying that. It's about what? Oh two? No, I no, would, probably six, six, five yeah. or six. Yeah, five or six. I remember when I was about four or five, R. Kelly was everywhere. Uh, like TV, co- radio, under my bed. He was everywhere. R. Kelly's <laughs> up and down the estate like fuck. <laughs> but I remember, what was the other one? World's Greatest, I'll give him that. That's a good song. I'm the world's I'm greatest. I'm that star up in the sky. I'm the, that's a great fucking song. Does it ruin Space Jam for you now? Yeah. Yeah. Does it? Yeah. I mean, so did LeBron James. Oh, did you see that Space Jump 2? Stinking. Shite. No soul. Is that why he died in the helicopter? That's Kobe. Oh, LeBron yeah. James is not dead. Is he not? Is LeBron oh. James a pedo? <laughs> 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 right, we may do a Q&A because yeah. Kieran's texting there as well, so... Is he coming? Yeah. Tom Steed says he was going to contact us, but... Never did. He hasn't sent a message. But that's not saying that... Tom Steele with London. Here's the o'clock. Yeah, yeah. What's up, fuck? You want to hear about some hey, fucking Hey, guys. guys, fucking yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. He sent me messages two o'clock this morning, say that. <laughs> Was it? Yeah. I, we want to go see him tonight. No, I can't. I'm doing Best of Irish. Hey, Patty. Do you hear Pee Wee Herman's a fucking yeah. pedo? DJ <laughs> Casper, man, I told you. <laughs> told you he's up to no fucking good. <laughs> want to go see him tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, I can go see him tomorrow. It'll be awesome. We done recording? Yeah. Oh, so what am I doing this for? Um, I'd love to go. I need to go see Steve. Know who I'd recommend going to see while you're in town? Paul Sinna. No, we are recording. Oh, we are still recording right now? Yes. Oh, we are? Yes. So when I said, are we done recording, and you said yes? No, you said, are we still recording? Oh, I, I said, I yes. thought I said, are we done recording? <laughs> we done recording? Yeah. Oh, so what am I doing this for? I would recommend going to see Paul Senna. Like the cinema? Yeah. I the did. Chase? Yeah. I did a gig with him two days ago. Fuck. Brilliant. Stand up or does Ooh. he just spit facts? Stand up. And he, he's... I'm not giving any of his act away on her. Outstand him. Does he talk about homosexuality? Yes. But he talks about a lot of stuff. Does he talk about pedophiles? Though? No. Maybe. A bit. He's darker material-wise than I thought he would be. Is Paul Sheen a pedo? No, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that, a, is that, that is a, now going to be the Google search? <laughs> every no, 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 I'm going to ignore that. <laughs> is your man down there? We'll wrap this one up before you. Thank you very much for listening.